What is up everyone? My name is Christian Aguilar. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my New Year's resolutions. I do this every year privately, but this year I decided to do it on camera. Every January 1st, I like to set some goals, write them down in a notebook or journal, work toward them every day, accomplish them, and reward myself. I find this strategy to be very effective because I usually accomplish my New Year's resolutions. Before I begin, I would like to share with you my strategies to accomplishing my New Year's resolutions. The first tip is setting realistic and specific goals. For example, one of my goals is to increase my emergency fund from $1,000 to $1,500 or $2,000. It's a realistic and specific goal. It wouldn't be specific if I just said I want to increase my emergency fund. Making your goals specific will really help you focus on what you're trying to accomplish. The second tip is writing them down in a notebook or journal or writing them in a notepad app in your phone. The third tip is to share your goals with others. If someone asks, hey, what's your New Year's resolution? It's really helpful to tell them and ask them what their New Year's resolutions are. I find it really helpful to share your goals with others because it reminds you of what you're working toward. The fourth tip is to work toward your goal every single day. The goals that you set are pretty big, so it's your goal to work on them one by one. It takes baby steps in order to accomplish something really big, so don't rush anything. Don't feel like, oh my gosh, it's taking forever. Why did I set this goal? It's, it's just not realistic. No, it, anything can be accomplished as long as you take your baby steps and work toward it every day. And remind yourself that you're working toward this goal every day, which is why it's so effective to write it down and not just say it. And the fifth tip is to reward yourself when you've accomplished your goal. It can be as simple as a Starbucks drink or going out to eat with your friends. For instance, my 2016 goal was to get my driver's license. I wrote that goal in a journal. I worked toward it every day. I would ask my family members to help me get some experience behind the wheel. Then throughout the year, I got kind of tired of bugging them and I realized, you know what? If I want to learn how to drive, I'm going to do it on my own. So what I did was call up different driving schools, find out their prices, see the reviews, and check out the ones that my friends recommended. After that, I chose a driving school, I went through the process, I took my test, I passed it. I was so happy because I did this on my own, and I accomplished my 2016 resolution. It was pretty expensive, I spent over $300. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but I considered this a great investment. Even if I were not to pass it after the driving school, I would still consider it a good investment, because because I received hands-on experience behind the wheel and I learned how to be a safe driver. Finally, I rewarded myself for accomplishing my 2016 resolution. I took my little sister to go eat at Hometown Buffet, which I thought was an awesome reward because who doesn't love buffets? And those are the tips that really helped me accomplish my goals. So if you're looking for a strategy, I definitely recommend this one. Give this video a thumb up if you plan on accomplishing your goals with this strategy. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I set some goals for my YouTube channel. My very first goal was to change my channel art. I want to create a new channel art because the one that I currently have, it doesn't really tell people what my channel is about. So throughout the year, I'm going to watch videos on how to make awesome channel art. I really want mine to pop and symbolize what my channel is all about. My second goal is to publish more YouTube videos than 2016. In 2015, I only published five videos and I started in July, which is pretty devastating. I can't believe I only published five videos, but in 2016, I published 25 videos, including this one, which was a huge increase. It shows how much I take YouTube seriously, whether it is 26, 30, 35, either one, I would be content because my goal is just to pass 25 videos. And my third YouTube goal is to continue to grow my channel. I want to continue to engage with my subscribers. I want to be able to promote my channel as much as possible outside of social media. And I want to continue growing my channel by watching YouTube videos on how to have a successful YouTube channel. Next, I want to talk about my overall goals. My very first overall goal is to continue to do my research and read the Bible and figure out which is the true worship. Like I mentioned in my coming clean, telling it like it is video, I mentioned that I was baptized as a Catholic, but at the moment I am praying to God to help me figure out which is the true worship, which religion should I be a part of. I've been working on that goal lately and I want to continue to do so because I do want to develop a closer relationship with God. My second overall goal is to increase my emergency fund from $1,000 to $1,500 or $2,000. It may seem kind of simple to go from $1,000 to $1,500 or $2,000. You're probably thinking, it's simple, your next paycheck, just put 500 away. No, it's not that simple, especially since I have other responsibilities like bills to pay. But throughout the year, every paycheck that I get, I want to be able to store some money into my emergency fund, whether it is $20, $40, 
whatever it takes in order to reach 1,500 or 2,000. My third overall goal is to improve my Spanish speaking skills. I speak Spanish, but I do not speak the language fluently. And my goal is to really speak fluently because I plan on becoming a TV host and it would open more doors if I knew how to speak fluently in both Spanish and English. One of my close friends has been telling me, hey, just start reading in Spanish. That is how my little sister started learning. Then I talked to a dentist assistant and she also told me to start reading. And even my mom found me a Spanish book that she found lying around in the house so I could start learning. So I really don't have an excuse. So I need to stop procrastinating and go ham on learning the language correctly. Another overall goal is to save up for a MacBook Pro. I'm not talking about the new MacBook Pro because I don't want to save up more money for the latest MacBook Pro because I'll end up giving extra money to the company for a function that I'm probably not going to use, that new Touch ID. I know I'm not going to use it, so I'd rather just get the older version that can do exactly what I need it to do, and that is to edit my videos. I plan on transferring to a school outside of my hometown. Having a MacBook Pro is going to be very helpful, especially since I want to continue my YouTube channel. I want to continue publishing new videos even when I'm outside of town. Since this is not an emergency, I cannot take money out of my emergency fund for this. I'm going to do what it takes so that I can save up for my MacBook Pro. Lastly, my overall goal is to start eating healthy again. I was getting in the good habit of eating well in 2015 and the beginning of 2016. I would drink lemon water, I would drink non-fat milk, I would eat whole grain cereals, and I kind of left that good habit this year, so I want to recover and start eating healthy again. I also have another goal that is very personal and I decided to keep it private because I've realized that I do not have to share everything online, so... I'm going to work toward that one as well. And that is it. Those are my New Year's resolutions. It may seem like a lot, but I'm going to work toward them every day. I'm going to go through the baby steps before I can reach that ultimate goal. I really want to know about your goals, so comment down below what your New Year's resolutions are so that I can give it a thumb up to wish you luck. There is a statistic that says that 48% of Americans set New Year's resolutions and only 8% keep it. So using my strategy where you write them down, set realistic and specific goals, work toward them every day even if it's just baby steps accomplish it and reward yourself trust me you are going to bump that 8% to 8.1 8.2 whatever it is as long as you're doing it for yourself let's try to bump up that statistic nonetheless subscribe to my youtube channel i have a self-help and lifestyle channel it is my goal to inspire others so if you want to be a part of my youtube family don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you are notified every time that i publish a new video until next time see y'all later